Hello YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dartmoor National Park where we are riding as always on uh, the channel to raising awareness for mental health and the benefits of riding and traveling for mental health. Welcome back to Hater Rock if you saw the uh, last episode of the Dartmoor tour. As you can see the sun has come out upon us. It is beautiful and we're just going to head up this lovely looking road for a ride enjoy the sun and stay tuned to the end of the video because we are going to camp somewhere and do something that i've never done before and i'm very much looking forward to it actually i think it's going to be really fun that's all i'm giving away stay tuned enjoy the ride if you didn't catch the last episode we walked up there up that big rock i say we i mean me <laughs> and it tipped it down it was hailing and all sorts it was nice though can't let the weather get you down but now we are heading off i'm afraid not to the secretive quarry that may be saved for another day but we're heading off to do something camping wise that i have never done before but i have always wanted to since i've been a little kid it's going to be great fun i hope but first we have a wonderful ride through dartmoor here it is quality Absolutely loving it, and the Speedmaster is as well. Oh, lovely. The grass is just like Teletubby land. Really pretty. Wowzers. Wowzers, Batman! Tell you what, I truly hope some of these, some of these views are coming out well, guys, on camera. It's stunning when the sun's out. Oh, special place, Dartmoor. It's coming uh, up and down hills at the moment. This is awesome. Some great riding roads here. Steady. Wowzers. Look at the views, man. This is crazy. You've got to come to the national parks, guys. Are nuts. Oh well, it's a pretty epic road. It's a tiny single carriageway. Yes, mate. So for mental health, this is why it does me good, guys. This is awesome riding the bike in a beautiful landscape just can't get better I love the walls like the walling is like big boulders which they're just dry stone walling I guess there's no mortar between it they literally just put them on top of each other I've never seen that style before it's really cool look at this <laughs> Dartmoor's incredible Okay guys, we're getting closer to the big reveal, the surprise at the campsite. But I'm having doubts, I'm sticking with the sat-nav. We're coming down this really muddy road and like puddles in the middle of the road. But we're getting close. It's a bit arse clenching at times. May not look it through the camera, but oh, I really don't want to get wet feet through here. This is not what the Speedmaster was built for, bless her. Bless her cotton socks. Oh my god, look at the state of this road. Oh, it's not too bad on the left. Mind you, it's a beautiful evening. I think we can have some fun at this uh, special campsite to have for the night. Oh, trying to squeeze, stay off the mud in the middle of the road. Sorry, girl. Oh, God. Downhill in this mud. This should be fun. Okay. Off the front brake. No front brake, sir. It's a key to uh, off-roading, especially on a road bike. That's not too bad. Just a bit of gravel. Oh, just going to need a clean. Ah, civilization. Okay, 
back onto a main road. Okay guys, we made it to the campsite. I'm just gonna reveal the location for the night, which I just thought about it. You've probably already seen the picture of it, <laughs> but here we are for real. Ta-da! Look at this! How cool is this little spot? We're in a place called Ashbourne Wood, just on the outskirts of Dartmoor, sort of southern, southeastern Dartmoor. And we've got this puppy for the night. It's a little, um, I don't know what it is. A little sort of wooden gnome's, gnome's house or something. We've got, a we've got electricity, see? Light, spooky woods behind. This place is going to be nice and warm. Got our own private parking for the girl here. And we have a fire pit, exciting. And we have a table, even more exciting. Right, I'm going to get set up, get the fire going before it gets dark. Because it's a little bit spooky back there in the woods. what they're what you call these actually they're really cool I've seen them around quite a lot I've always wanted to stay in one of these looks like great fun I'll show you around give you the grand tour Ta-da! look at this luxury not used to this while I was camping got an electric heater little baby plugged in we got two plug two plug sockets that is gonna be extremely useful. Just close the door, keep the heat in. It's a little bit cold out there, we're well into November now, so it's getting a lot colder. If you noticed, I've got my full winter gear on with the winter fleecing in. I've got my winter trousers on to stay nice and warm during this winter. But yeah, this is a lovely, humble little, well, it's not so humble to be honest. It's really nice, really warm. Double bed, so you've got to bring your own um, own bedding. So I've bought my uh, sleeping bag, like winter sleeping bag, but I think it'll be too hot to be honest. It's got like these seats around the side. You can just rest things on or, you know, have a party. <laughs> Get all the gang in, have a session here, it'll be awesome. Fortunately, I'm by myself today, but another time. But these are awesome, you could get one of these in your garden or something, it'd be great fun. And then you've got the, that's like three of these windows with this curtains. And then out the back is the spooky woods, which I'm sure you can't see through the camera. I'll show you to this window. Outside, you can see the fire flickering away nicely. It might need a bit of attention actually, it looks like it's dying down a bit. Yeah, so I've still got all of my, um, which we'll get out in a second to, start eating I've got like a mess tin in here so I can put some water and boil now I've got some like ready ready foods there and a couple of beers down there plenty of wood to keep me going for the night and uh, yeah get a book out have a few beers have a read and just enjoy it time to wash up the mess tin ready for the food Okay guys, so have my delicious, gone for the all day breakfast, sort of ready meal, like camping, hiking meal. I eat those a lot, they're really good actually, I really like them. Pop them in the hot water, boil it, open the pack and then Bob's your uncle as they say. Um, but yeah, just cracked a beer, just chilling by the fire. Awesome day, riding, such a cool day. Really pleased with the digs for the night, that's going to be such a nice night in there, so cosy so warm fires going i think the wood might be a bit damp with the fire it's not going so well had a great day so good for mental health shout out to mental health awareness you want to sort of encourage people to to get out there and try new things whether it be camping or traveling or anything i love a bit of everything the motorbiking traveling camping is all brilliant and so good for mental health and you bump into a lot of new people along the way if you like the video guys Please don't forget to subscribe for the cause. Let's uh, get mental health awareness out there and spread positive vibes all around to everyone and across the world. I think it needs it at the moment with climate change and oh, Brexit for just for us, but in the coronavirus, I think we need to a bit more positivity, traveling, appreciating nature, new things, new people. That's what it's all about. Give a thumbs up. So cheers, guys. I'm going to finish off my beer and then tuck into my cozy I still haven't come up with a name with the things like a pixie house or a hobbit house I don't know we'll find something anyway 
We're just going outside to round off this episode. It's going to show you how spooky it is out the back. Oh, <laughs> so spooky, especially it was Halloween last night. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've got my torch. So we're all good. But there's literally... It's really nice, actually. Ooh, better off, actually, I find it's nice. Better if I just look at the camera screen because you don't sort of realise where you are. When you look up, it's really scary. But yeah, it's cool. Just trees and darkness out the back. Oh my god, that completely freaked me out. What is that? See those two things over there? I was genuinely, I didn't know they were there. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, I'm going back in. Oh, last time now, that's the end of this episode. So I had to show you that it's spooky out there. How these wilderness people do it, that's freaky. Feels just sort of safer in a tent. I don't know, I feel like I'm a magnet in this thing. There's no one else around because it's so cold. There's no one else in the campsite. It's a little bit spooky. Anyway, wish me luck for the night. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you in the morning. I'm gonna lock the door. Take it easy. Ciao Bella. Thank you.